welcome to the session. So, today's question is: Is glass liquid or not? So, few of you have already like you know uh, sent in the chat box that okay, ma'am, it is solid, of course, it is liquid, and few of you were even telling it is amorphous solid. So, what is it then? We all are confused at this point. Solid? Yeah, liquid. Because you know we didn't. have this question we never thought of this before because when once you look at this it's like yeah it is solid it breaks it has a definite shape it's not changing and you know, that is how we define solid but there is this one property which is known as viscosity that is measure of resistance to flow measure of resistance to flow so that is basically you know if you compare okay so what i want you to do is Water in another container, oil. So if you open the tap, obviously water will flow at a faster rate compared to oil. Do you agree? So that is, oil is more viscous than water. Honey is more viscous than water. So this is what viscosity is. Honey is more viscous. Olive oil is thousand hundred times thicker than water. So obviously it will be more viscous. So this is what is the meaning of viscosity. I hope it is clear. So but that is for liquids. Why are we talking about viscosity here? Because we are supposed to discuss whether glass is liquid or solid. The stained glass of old windows of churches, like which were built years ago, you can see the bottom of the panels thicker than the top. What does it mean? Was it Built that way? No. So it's that means okay, जो भी glass है the top it has come down, it has flowed. So now, is it a solid or liquid? Think, think. So this is the myth. All solids are frozen liquid. What do you think? I do not agree with this. No. No. So dry ice. We didn't. It is not liquid, है ना? So this is false. It is a myth. So now let's answer our first, final question. That is, is glass liquid or not? Yes, I'll tell you now. So when you tell a chemistry enthusiast that glass is a solid, they too this will be their expression, which is giving away the answer that glass is not a solid. And what is it? Is it a liquid? No, it lies somewhere between solid and liquid. That is, it is an amorphous solid. So crystalline salts, we have this right? Crystalline solids, which has a definite structure, very well arranged molecules, the atoms or the ions. Okay, they are solids. But amorphous solid, may look at the arrangement. Is it uniform? Is it the same? No. So silica molecules, in case of uh, glass, are not regularly arranged. The regularity which you can find in the crystalline solids are not observed in glass. So what we do is, you know, the glass will be cooled not at at its melting point or the freezing point. You know, it is just cooled. Quick cooling, right? The glass is cooled down so quickly from the liquid state to solid state, so they do not have time to arrange themselves in a regular lattice. Because that's what happens when you are cooling water, when it is forming ice. So you know we are bringing the liquid to its freezing point where they can arrange themselves. But it is not happening here because we are just cooling. the liquid glass very quickly so molecules are arranged more randomly than most solids more similar to liquid because when we all talk about the arrangement of the particles we all know solids may it is the regularity the arrangement is very well but in case of liquid it is random in gases yes i agree so glass is a liquid so it is basically a super cooled liquid below its melting point 
when it is cooled below its melting point it is not crystallizing right so you can see that it is somewhere between solid and liquid where we do not have a proper term like people are not agreeing with the term you know you can call it this this is the state of matter so you can say that it has its own state of matter it is neither a liquid nor a solid so what happens is the molecules on the surface they can move but the molecules which are present in the inner crowd they are they cannot so can you see here while the more crowded this is w molecules on the interior part cannot surface they are able to move but the interior which are present in the inner side of the substance they cannot so to conclude it is sometimes said that glass is therefore neither a liquid nor a solid its properties are different like you know it does not have that very well arranged crystalline lattice or it does not flow even though its viscosity it is thoda sa viscous right so it has a distinctly different structure with properties of both liquids and solids the thing is with terminology we are not um, able to you know settle down with one term and of course there are a lot of things which we have to know you know there is this um, even when it comes to thermodynamics we are still learning we are not very sure i'm not saying yes this is something which is neither a liquid nor a solid of course we have to learn more about the properties of glass but you cannot call it a crystalline solid no it is a amorphous solid or super cooled liquid that's what we can call this so thank you so much for watching this session if you like this make sure to hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe and um what else so if you have any points or statements which is like i don't think this is right you know which has made you think please let us know in the comment section if you have any these kind of questions so this is what we will be covering in the series beyond the books thank you thank you but before i end let me tell you one thing so here to we are covering about general chemistry where the student from 6 to 12 grade can study even this is something which even your parents can watch right because they would also want to know now they know okay we all, all this the entire life we thought glass was a solid but now it isn't right so please make sure to share this video but what about the academic part what about the competitive exam you would want to clear that as well you would want to attempt those exams so where should you study where should you be learning where there is unlimited live classes with fun and high level courses so visit the link which is given in the description and use the coupon code swrpr can't see swrpr so interactive replays with live quizzes and readables yes for some reason you couldn't attend the session but still you can be on the readable because you can play the quiz all the notes once the session ends the notes of that particular session will be provided to you with the assignments tests will be conducted regularly subjective objective benchmark test so many kinds of tests in class doubt solving will also be there where there will be class teachers and master teacher as well so once you take this pro subscription so you can have unlimited micro courses you want to enroll into this subject come across go ahead the subject is you don't have to pay so you play you are paying only for those long term courses so you can choose any of these plan pro light your pro classic pro plus i'm sure you know the difference yes so in pro light pro plus you will get a personal mentor where in pro light pro, pro classic no and doubt solving on mobile app is available for both pro classic and pro plus users so you can try for one month which whichever the course which you would want to try 
and then after that you can buy the complete course so as i'm telling you like you know what is this shik 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 that is because micro courses unlimited micro courses you can enroll into any of them and there are the new batches starting i will be taking some new batch from next week uh, for 10 and 9 as well so if you want to learn chemistry from me in on the platform then you can go ahead and get the subscription thank you so much for watching the video take care bye bye